Da 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 da. Oh yeah. Uh, hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Got me therapist. off my rhythm. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Hey, Brad, we're going to talk about how to use a cane or crutch. We could put two. Sure. Uh, to relieve hip and knee pain fast. Bob, I can't tell you how many times I've had people come in with knee or hip pain and some power resistance, but I have them use a cane, typically, sometimes a crutch, and their knee pain when they walk will go from, say, a 8 over 10 down to a 3 over 10. Absolutely. And they say, wow, does that work good. Yeah, I would say for me, for, for me uh, especially if someone, is, well, not even if they're older, sometimes even if they're younger, this is the number one thing that's going to knock their pain down. Right. I mean, seriously. Right. I mean, it takes, because knee pain and hip pain, they tend to flare up mm -hmm. and then they calm down. Sure. Or if you, if you damaged it or injured it, um, that injury needs to calm down and heal. Yep. So you, you want to take some of the stress off Take of the it. irritant away and everything gets better. But there are three things, you, yeah, three things, Bob. Yeah. Don't be pointing at me like <laughs> that. Three things that uh, you need to do in order for the, so they work properly and it's a, uh, you're going to have success. By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh, yeah. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you're going to want to go to Facebook and like us because Brad and I, if you like us, we're going to give out some positive vibes. I don't know when we're when is this one going up. Do we know? It's, oh, in the future. So we're probably not giving away anything right now. Oh, just vibes. Just positive There's vibes. nothing wrong with that, yeah, though. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes free is good. All right, Brad, so what's going on? Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, if you're uh, going to use a cane or a crutch, you need to adjust the height properly. Correctly, yes. Uh, so it's nice to have, you know, if you have a wooden cane, you might be limited. You can cut it off, make it shorter, but it's hard to make them longer. That's right. Cut you, once or measure, is that, was it? Measure, measure twice, twice, cut, cut once. once. Yeah. So if you stand, this is exactly what I say to my patients. Could you stand up with good tall posture and let your arms hang down? And then I put the cane there and every time they grab for the cane. Yeah. And I say, don't grab for the cane, just relax. And I'll put the cane there. And what I want the grip to do is line up with the crease. So that's obviously way too tall. So, you know, you very simply just, uh, these are nice canes. They make them so easy to adjust, these aluminum ones. Yeah. And look at this, psychedelic colors. That's you can get right. them all decorations if you want, or plain ones. Now that's proper right there. There we go. Uh, and it would be crutches the are the crutch. I mean, the wrist would be the same thing for the crutch. And you can see this one's actually already set for me. Yes. So in this part, you usually want to have a couple inches, I mean, a couple fingertips right. uh, below, so you're not going up into the axilla. Right. You don't want that. Pressing the nerves. Right. You want a gap in there. Uh, this, we're not going to go through exactly how to adjust it, but you do, there's always adjustments on these as well. Oftentimes yeah. the newer ones, you just push the buttons in and raise it lower. Yeah, and you don't want to lean on this. Right. I mean, that's, that, that's compressing the nerves. You want to take the pressure on the on the palm of the hand. Right. You want the pressure. Precise. And squeezing a little bit like yep. this too. So, so make your adjustments as we just talked about. Now this is where people sometimes have a issue or think uh, understanding is if it's your left knee or hip, you're going to use the cane or the crutch in the opposite, opposite hand. Oh, yes. Yep. So, uh, and then, you know, and there's that, what was that show that the, the doctor, he's a uh, doctor, and he uses House, it, Dr. House. Dr. House, he used it. Because he would room. use it in the same way. Right. And Not only does it take pressure, if you use it properly, like we're going to show you, it takes pressure off the knee or the hip, but you have better balance and stability. Uh, and for some older people, uh, they're going to have a much less risk for falling as a well. A better walking pattern, too. Sure. You know, it's, you it's not going to be like the house went over. It's going to yeah. be a, a normal walking pattern. If Precisely. You, so draw a little less attention to you. Yeah, this is the house walk. And, and if you do it properly, the cane and the opposite leg, the involved leg, they sequence together. And typically, what I do with my patients, I say just take the cane and I have them in the right hand. I said, just walk with that. That's what thinking I tell of, them too. Yeah. Because as they, soon as I give them sequencing tips, they, it messes them up. Yep, yeah, you start thinking about it. Because when your left leg goes forward naturally, your right hand goes forward. Right. And the natural walking gait. So if they're not thinking about it, just allow the they same. They generally yep. do it, almost always do it right. Right. Uh, is what I have found. Mm -hmm. the, you know, my wife went through this, by the way, and, and uh, she was like, there's no way I'm going to use a cane. She started having knee pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, eventually it got to the point where 
She used a cane. <laughs> and, but we, we eventually decided on a crutch because she thought it looked more like sport, sporty, like athletic. More, more acceptable for her more age. More acceptable for her age. For her. Yeah. Yeah. And we actually, <laughs> I wanted to show this. We actually had to get, these were the pads we used. Uh, we had yeah. to actually get extra pads on there because it's amazing how sore you get underneath your armpits and your, your palm. Uh, e even if you keep the pressure on the hand, yep. that, that just the rubbing in there can yep, be Yeah, the rubbing in there. So uh, I would recommend if you get a crutch, you, and if you're going to be with it for a while, you may sure. want to get some extra padding with mm -hmm. it. So, yep. But uh, it calmed down. The, her knee calmed down, and she ended up not having to have any procedures or anything like that. So, But it, it was an issue of we had to keep the weight off that knee yep. I mean, for a while, right. or some of the pressure. Right. You want to avoid hills, too, and steps. You know, as much as you can. Oh, sure. I yep. mean, uh, right. That's putting extra pressure yep. on. Yeah, and if you're doing steps one step at a time, going up with your strong or the non-painful legs right. first is really going to help. And You know, you go a little slower, but it no, really helps. up with the good. You said that, right? Yeah. Up with the good. Down with the down bad. Down with the bad. Yep. Yeah. So. so those are some nice little helpful and they really do. It takes the pain. Yeah, really give this quickly. A, yeah, give it. Give this a shot because you may not even have to do anything else if you if you do this thing. This might take the pain down enough that you don't have to use meds or, or right. Or yep. Have any procedures? Yeah, if you're taking four ibuprofen three times a day, you can decrease that and save your yeah. stomach and your your liver. The idea eventually is you're going to get rid of it, away away from the cane. Right. I mean, right. That's, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Thanks everybody for watching.